Hi all, welcome to the best of CAD series by IMS. I am Parmeshwar over here and today we will look at a question on geometry. Kindly give it a try and then look at the solution over here. So in this question it says that the corners are cut off from a equilateral triangle T to produce basically a regular hexagon let's say H over here and the objective is to find out the ratio of the area of the hexagon to that of the area of the triangle over here. So there can be couple of methods to solve this particular question. Let's look at the first method. So we have a triangle. ABC and then basically we are cutting the corners off to create a regular hexagon. So we can take let's say this point D, E, F, G, H, I basically as my points uh, which are going to create the hexagon part. So the hexagon will look like this and then basically if you look at this angles are 60 degree since the triangle happened to be equilateral. Now this angle are also going to be equal to a 60 degree. Now what does that mean? That simply means that the length of AD will be equal to length of DE which in turn will be equal to length of AE over here. So if I possibly take this particular part as A, this part becomes a A, this part also becomes a A. And since I have taken the length of DE as A, all the other sides of the hexagon also becomes equal to A. Now since the triangle BIH CFG also happens to be equilateral triangle and the one of the side you can see happens to be A, this simply means that the length of CF also is A, GC also is A. So now if one notices the equilateral triangle let's say ABC over here one can say have a side length equals to thrice of A and we also know the side of the hexagon which is taken to be as A. So now if you look at the ratio of the area of the hexagon to that of the area of the triangle ABC over here. It must be equals to as a hexagon comprised of 6 equal equilateral triangles it should be equals to 6 into root 3 by 4 times of side square divide by if you look at for the equilateral triangle ABC the side happens to be a 3A so it must be equals to as root 3 by 4 into side square or one can say 3A whole square. So one can write in this particular case 9 times of a square and then if you notice a square doesn't play any role as such even the term root 3 by 4 will be out one simply get the number 6 by 9 which simplifies down to nothing but 2 by 3 and hence my required answer basically has to be option number 4 over here. Let us look at one more way to solve this particular question without taking any side as A or maybe 1 for that matter. So as you can see in this particular case a regular hexagon basically comprise of 6 equal equilateral triangles. So if I join suppose the diagonals DG, FI and EH over here my figure would look like this and one can say that if this are 6 equal triangles let's say having an area of let's say 1 for example then one can say my area of ADE, BIH and CIF also happens to be one only. So one can now see that the bigger triangle let's say ABC comprise of 9 such triangles and my hexagon let's say DEF, GH, I over here comprise of 6 such equilateral triangle or equal triangle rather. So one can say that the answer basically has to be nothing but 6 equal triangle divided by 9 equal triangle and my ratio turns out to be nothing but 2 by 3 again my answer becomes option number 4 here. So a fairly straightforward question people could have used your method number 1 or maybe method number 2 both of them will lead to same result which is option number 4. So now once you have understood the concept over here kindly give it a try on the replica question and put your answer in the comment section.